And there's a day and there's a location. Snooty Steps is our next destination. You guys have got to land there. Let's get right into it. Snooty Steps is right on the edge of the map, right here, down at the bottom. See, it might look like a really small and unpopular POI, but trust me, there are people landing here a lot of the time because of this thing right here. This is the home of Peter Griffin, and he has a lot of power-ups that lots of people want to get their hands on. He has a couple spawning areas, so I suggest you land this house right here. He never spawns in this house, therefore meaning you're probably going to get uncontested most of the time. You just need to make sure you have a great drop, otherwise you're going to struggle to fight off spawn at this place. The reason why this house is so good is because he either spawns here or here. It means you're going to be far away from the fighting so you can loot up at the start, but then go and join the fighting when it's coming to a close and finish it off. If you're finding this useful so far guys, make sure you pop in code JKC in the Fortnite and drop one by the Battle Pass. It's the number one way to support me and I appreciate it greatly. Thank you. You'll land on the right side of the roof right here and just hack in and get this chest right here. If you get a long range weapon, I suggest jumping back up on the roof because if you look, you quite have a strong view of the area and especially this chest, if someone lands straight on it, you can get a quick 100 tag on them, kill them straight off rip and same with this chest and this chest. You got a great view up here and I'd honestly suggest that you use it. Coming down to the rest of the buildings, it isn't the most chest in this building, but you're likely to get at least two per game, and that is more than enough for an off spawn battle at the start of this season. Now that you're here, if you've got a grapple glove, I would suggest getting to the top of this building, just getting all the way to the top because it's great for vision and you can actually build up here just like normal. However, if you don't have one, then you should rotate around the outside of this area, around these trees, farming up a little bit. Both these options are going to give you good mats as you can farm the roof and good vision as you can look inside the houses as well as the whole area around this whole place. You got the best positioning on the map right here, especially if the boss fights below you. If you have that vision in from the top, you can fry a ton of people. When it comes to the boss fight itself, I think you should come in later rather than too early. If you start coming into these boss fights too early, you're going to have a ton of third parties. But if you come in slightly later, when everyone's weak, the boss is weak, the players around them are weak because they've all been third party each other, that is so much better. And you're far more likely to come out with the power up. Once you find the boss, you should really really just try and get some distance between you. This is the boss with a shotgun, so he's going to be quite hard hitting if you go up against him up close. And this power up will be yours, Peter Griffin's Medallion. This is going to give you constant healing while in fights and it's also giving you access to the vault as well as the mythic shotgun. For that reason, this is one of the strongest POIs. And if you want to learn to land a pleasant piazza, then make sure you click on this video on the screen right now as it is the best drop possible and it's going to help you out a ton. I'll see you in the next one, guys.